It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hey guys, are you also getting into the Christmas mood as we are? Well, Sea of Thieves also is, so it seems. Today they launched their December update, Festival of Giving. And yes, there's a lot to do again. This time you can get 3 new voyages at Lorena who can be found outside the tavern on any outpost. All the voyages are actually the same, but they need to be solved in the 3 different regions. So you have one in the ancient isles, the shores of plenty and one in the wilds. When you start the voyage, you'll receive 3 X marks the spots maps with marked treasures that you need to find. In our case, we always found kegs and humble or generous gifts. When you complete those maps, you'll go to the final chapter. In this chapter, you'll receive another X marks a spot map with 4 treasures to dig up. When we completed the voyage, we discovered a chest of rage, 2 crates of fire bombs, and 1 ashen wind skull. You'll find out further in the video why you need them during this update and why you can collect them this easily. Like always, there's also an Athena variant which can only be collected by the pirate legends among us. When you start this voyage, you'll also receive 3 X marks the spot maps. This voyage is the same principle like the other voyages. The biggest difference between them is that all the maps are in Devil's Roar. The final chapter you'll need to dig up one item more than in the other voyages. In the final chapter we found two Athena Mega Kegs, one Ashen Wind Skull and two Fire Bombs Grates. There are also four Gilded Voyages like last year. One for the Gold Hoarders, one for the Order of Souls, one for the Merchants and one for the Pirate Legends. Just keep in mind that you can only choose one of them. So be wise and first think about it for which faction you need the most rep. Once you choose, there's no way back. When you go to your event tab and click on the special events, you'll find 3 different tiles. The first one is 12 Deeds of Giving. Each Deed of Giving will unlock one of the cool Eastern Winds and Gold Hoarders cosmetics. One of the deeds is for example to deliver 12 cooked chickens to Hunter's Call. Another one is to set food on all 7 outposts across the Sea of Thieves. And so there are 10 more deeds to fulfill. The other tile is called Plundered Presents. The quests here are all about another crew bringing in some loot from you. It doesn't matter if they stole it or if you gave it away. It counts anyway. If another crew turned in 50 of your treasures, all the cosmetics will be unlocked. Because each quest of them will unlock another cool cosmetic. Maybe it's a good idea to put all your humble and generous gifts at Reaper's hideout and hope that someone will turn them in. So let's make a deal. Just bring in all the generous gifts you find and make a fellow pirate happy. And the last tile is Grogmanay. When you open this one, you'll find 6 other challenges to complete. When you complete these challenges, you'll be able to earn the Order of Souls Bucket, Frostbite Cannon and Paradise Garden Cannon Flare. What's this you're wondering? Well, it's something brand new we think Sea of Thieves added to celebrate the holidays. When you put it on your ship, beautiful colors will appear when you shoot your cannons. Maybe not really handy when you're planning a fun PvP night, but it brings some sphere to the holidays. It makes me think of fireworks. Looks really amazing. To complete all these challenges, you'll need to bring in 3 chests of rage. Set a skeleton ship on fire by an ashen wind skull, burn 10 skeletons to ashes by an ashen wind skull, kill 3 bone skeletons at the same time while shooting a gunpowder skeleton, Turn in 3 Ashen Wind Skulls to the Order of Souls and the last one is setting 20 skeletons on fire. When you complete all of them, you'll receive all those cool cosmetics. So now it's clear why you can find all these items quite easily if you complete the new voyages. 
A small tip for those among us who aren't that familiar with the chests of rage yet. To not let it overheat and explode, we recommend you to put two or three buckets of water in the lower deck and put the chest in there. The waves will cool it down by itself. So nothing can go wrong, easy way. There's one more thing that's just too cool to not show you. It's the Bone Chiller costume you can buy now in the Pirate Emporium. Really cool, literally. Looks like a brand new character. And another special thing about it, it has its own emote. So let's chase those ancient skeletons and make the costume yours. So this was our quick guide through the December update. We hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Happy holidays to all of you, keep it cozy, keep it safe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Shiver me timbers. Yarr. Fast.